morning guys so we arrived at our lovely little weekend stay last night and it was a little bit too dark to do the vlog of the place so i'm going to do it this morning so i've just woken up lee's just in the shower little bruno's here he's loving it he like ran in last night and was running around he's He's in his element. So yeah, we're here for two nights. Sorry, I think Lee just fell over in the shower or something. Um, where was that? So yeah, so we're staying in this place for two nights and this was booked by a brand called Pause and Stay. So everything they have on their website is designed for owners with dogs and they have the most gorgeous array of holiday stays on there. Honestly, there's so many around the country. So yeah, we've got this one in Northumberland and our friends actually live down the road and they've just had a baby. So they're going to come see us and stay for a few nights. So yeah, I'm going to give you a little tour now and then I'll finish getting ready and I'll take you with us. So Lee's just in the shower, so I won't show you in there just yet, but this is the guest room. And this is where our friends are going to be staying. The rooms are so gorgeous. Look at the size of the bed as well. It's so lovely. So we've got this little view out the window. We've got a little garden as well. We were hoping for better weather, but it is raining. But that's not gonna stop us having fun. So yeah, that's our little, I think that's a little shepherd's hut actually. There's like four cottages along here. So we're in Cuthbert House and it's got stunning views. So I'm gonna take Bruno out there for a little run around later. He's here now. Hello, are you having fun? Um, you can't get up there. I've given them the big bathroom. So they've got the main bathroom here, which is so lovely. And then if we go back downstairs, you're gonna follow me little one. We're going downstairs. Come on. We need the poos at the bottom of the stairs. Bruno, where's Pooh? Where's Pooh? And then this is the main living area. It's so gorgeous. So big and spacious and it's going to be lovely for us to just chill in here in the evenings. I just hope it brightens up today for us. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this kitchen. How lovely is it? It's huge. So yes, we're going to be cooking in here this morning. Our friends are going to arrive. Sorry about the mess. I've been charging my cameras. Um, those guys are going to arrive about one, I think. So we'll probably go for a little wander. But yeah, they've left us this lovely hamper here as well. So we've got, so we've got crisps, we've got wine, we've got sparkling elderflower. I think this is a lemon drizzle. Oh, my favourite. Lemon drizzle is my absolute favourite. So happy with that. And then we've got some bread. Some shortbread, coffee, eggs. We, we've brought so many eggs. They've left us a lovely little note, which is really cute. So yeah, so kind, such a lovely, generous hamper. So then we lit the fire last night. It was so cozy. I would honestly love to come back here in the winter as well and just get really cozy and snug and go for some winter walks. And then we've got the cot for little Annabelle when she arrives. And then this is Bruno's little corner here. So they've given us some treats. We've got a little towel for when he gets muddy. We've got some poo bags and a food and drinks bowl here. And then this is a little sign here where they've just recommended places for us to explore and eat and drink and relax too. So yeah, that's the little tour. So I don't know what the plan is today really. We'll either go for a little walk depending on the weather or we could wander into Arnick, the little town nearby. So that is where Arnick Castle is. And if you guys are a Harry Potter fan, then the first and the second was filmed there. That was basically Hogwarts. So we're hoping to go for a little wander around there. I'm not sure if you're allowed dogs in the actual grounds, but we want to walk past and see it anyway because me and Lee are big Harry Potter fans. So that's exciting. But yeah, that's the place. So lovely and I can't wait to spend the weekend here. Despite the weather, I'm hoping it gets brighter. But I've got the waterproofs just in case, you know, we live in England, so you have to be prepared. Here we go. Lovely little garden. Where's the 
birds, brooms. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Did you get the birds? Oh, that was so cute. Do you want your breakfast now? Yeah? Breakfast! <gasps> So I've just got ready to go for a little wander. We're gonna go have a wander around the grounds before those guys get here this afternoon and then maybe wander into the um, the town. So I'll probably get changed into something a little bit more smart casual, but we're just going for a little wander now. So I've got my cos tea on, my trench from ASOS. It's super old, but I'll link a similar one. My Adenola leggings, Adenola socks, and then I've, I'm just gonna pop my trainers on. Oh, and my crossbody bag. So nice and casual. Apparently it's really warm outside, so hence why I've just got a little tee on and throw my trench over the top. But yeah, excited to go and explore and I'll take you guys with me. to take dogs in too by the way so everywhere that we go on this little tour you're allowed the puppers which is good oh my gosh look at that That room was the drawing room that we were just in and this is the library or oh, was the library it smells of old books that's so weird So we're back from our walk and I've just got changed into my second outfit. So we're gonna go and chill in the garden because the sun's out and it's gorgeous. And then maybe go for a little wander. So I wanted something a little bit more smart casual. So I've kept my cos tea on. I've got my Majiri earrings, the ones that I wear all the time, my little croissant ones. Um, my Monica Vinader necklace. I've got my H&M blazer and the Loewe basket bag is back out. This comes everywhere with me over spring summer. I just blooming love it. And a bottle of wine fits really nicely in there. So I'm going to be taking that to the garden. And then I've got my Under the Stories twill tailored trousers, which you will have seen in my workwear video. And then I've just got my Birkenstocks on. So there we go, that is today's very neutral look for a lovely smart casual wander. But now I'm going to go and open a bottle of wine, wait for those guys to arrive and enjoy the sunshine.
Hi loves, we're home now back in Manchester and I haven't really been doing much over the past few days apart from editing so it's just been a little bit boring so I haven't vlogged so I've picked up the camera today and we are heading into town and I'm in a dress guys it's 18 degrees outside so I'm so happy so I've got the sandals out so this lovely dress is from Dish and I've been dying to wear this I've just been waiting for the weather to be lovely and then I've got these lovely sandals on from Fit Flop and they are so comfortable the sole is really cushioned so they're a lot comfier than my other ones um because they're fully leather and they're a little bit solid on the sole. So these are definitely softer and they're slightly higher too, which helps me because I'm petite. So this dress sits at a lovely length when wearing these. So I've been working this morning and I'm gonna head into town and I've got a nail appointment because look at the state of them. They are very grown out. So I'm gonna get them cut down as well because they're far too long. And then I'm gonna to go to the shops actually, see what's new in for summer. So I'll take you guys with me. And then I'm getting my hair done. So it is just in need of a bit of a freshen up. It's gone very, very dark. I love how natural it's looking though. It's taken me a while to get it back to this, but it just needs a little bit of a freshen up. It actually looks brighter on camera because the lights just started coming in, but yeah. I'm just wanting a few more different tones throughout and underneath as well. It's very, very dark. So I'm feeling very brunette more than blonde. So I am taking my blazer with me just in case because, you know, Manchester weather. But I'm so happy to be wearing a dress. It's finally feeling like spring, summer. So and I've been dying to wear this one for ages now. So I'm going to get the tram in now. And first stop is probably going to be Mango. Then I'll go and get my nails done. Then I'll probably do like cousin stories, you know, my favourites and see what's in there. And then we'll go for my hair appointment. So I'll take you all with me. So first up, we've got this lovely fine knit top with the gorgeous tie detail at the front. I really love this. I'm not so keen on the trousers. I'm more of a vertical trouser girl, but I would definitely wear this top with my linen trousers or my jeans. I just think it's super cute. And then it also comes in a lovely little knit dress too. So this would be perfect for holiday too if you're at the beach and then heading out for a bit of a wander. I really love this one. And then they actually stocked my blue denim skirt in the black, which I absolutely loved. And the denim felt really soft. It was a bit thinner than my blue one, so it didn't feel as rigid. So it was really nice and easy to walk in. And then finally, I found this really cute crochet jumper. I thought this was lovely just to throw on on the days where it's a little bit cooler. So then I popped into COS and found this really lovely cropped sleeveless shirt. I really liked the shape of this and it came in navy as well. And I noticed the navy one had a matching maxi skirt, which I loved. I would have loved to have tried it on in white, but I couldn't find it. So I'll link as much as I can on the website. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. I do have something very similar with sleeves, but I just wanted to try it on for the shape. Unfortunately, it didn't look right with these trousers, so I definitely team it with a maxi skirt. I then tried on this cord. I absolutely love the blazer. This sleeveless blazer is something I don't have in my wardrobe and I really love the fit of it. I think I could have sized down. It was a little bit big on the shoulders, but they didn't have my size in store. So I tried this one on just to show you. But I love the color. I love the length of the sleeves too. It's a great alternative for those warmer days as well if you still want to layer up. The trousers, however, were a really weird fit on me. I think the pleats were just in an odd place and they weren't very flattering. But then I tried it on with these relaxed linen trousers and I loved these. So the elasticated waist allows you to wear them high rise, mid rise, low rise, but for me, I love wearing high rise. So this meant that the trousers fell at a perfect length for me as well. So I'm five foot three and they didn't drag on the floor, which I usually find with a lot of linen trousers, unless they're petite. So yeah, these were a great find. 
I then tried on these mid-wash jeans which I really loved. I loved the crop style of them. They're very similar to my other ones actually but I just wanted to show you guys a pair of cos jeans because I always love the fit of them. So if I was definitely in need of another pair I'd go for those. And then these cream trousers are a very similar fit to the jeans but they've got a elasticated draw cord and I really love the shape of them. They're like a tapered chino style. They're like a tapered chino style but the elasticated waist just gives off a more relaxed feel so I really liked those. And then onto this lovely green striped shirt. I've been after the perfect green striped shirt for a while now and the shades just haven't been right and I really loved this one and pairs so nicely with those linen trousers. So I really loved this outfit. I liked how oversized the shirt is as well. I think this was a size 36 and I definitely wear this as a beach cover up on holiday too. And then I popped into Under the Stories and picked up these Bermuda shorts. I love the Bermuda short and I'm so glad it's here to stay this year as well. So I do have some very similar to this in black and when I pick up my Bermuda shorts I always make sure they sit about a couple inches just above the knee, especially being petite as well, so they don't make me look too short. So these ones definitely do that, and I love how high-waisted they are too. They're in a lovely soft denim, and for me, I'd probably take off that tie belt and pop my own belt on there. But yeah, I really liked these. I thought they're really cute and super comfortable as well. And then another thing I wanted to try on, which I've seen online and I wanted to see what it's like on in store, is this gorgeous knit dress. So I've seen a few variations of this dress. I think they do it in white and black as well. If you're after something for like a beach cover up when you're on holiday or something that's going to take you from the beach into the evening, then I feel like this is perfect. And then finally I decided to pop into M&S. So I've been working with M&S recently over on Instagram and they've honestly got so much good product in there at the minute and I always go back to their linen every single year. So I thought I'd try on some of their new colourways in the linen shirts because you can hands down guarantee that the quality is going to be amazing. And this is the first little shirt that I'm trying on. I went for a pop of colour today. I really love this shade of green. It especially pairs really nicely with these like mid-wash blue jeans, which are really cute on actually. So these are a cropped style, but they do fit me full length because I am short. So then I wanted to try it out with these linen trousers and honestly, the fit of these trousers are beautiful. So these ones are actually from the brand Jaeger and they're very very similar to my dish ones so they're fully lined they've got a pleat at the front and back and the length on these is actually better than my dish ones if I must say because I do need my dish ones taken up but yeah they're so similar so if you're looking for a dupe of those these are the ones I love them super comfortable really soft linen and very well made so on to the next shirt and it's the same as the green one but in a lovely neutral colour and again, super soft linen. I've teamed them with the white version of the jeans and I really love this look. I've just knotted it at the front as well because this shirt is a little bit bigger than the other one. So it was quite long in length. You can use it as a cover up, which is great. You can tuck it into your trousers or you can tie a knot like I've done here. <music> dresses with Melissa. So this is the before and as you can see it's very dull and in need of brightening up. So Melissa starts by prepping the hair with the K18 peptide prep which resets the hair for optimal colouring. We then began by adding in the baby lights and face framing pieces to contour the face. So Melissa uses two shades when doing my highlights to create that multi-tonal natural look. As you can see it takes a lot of foils to create the natural look once the foils were done, I then sat for about 30 minutes with the heater on. As the bleach develops at different stages, we then washed the underneath off first and waited another 10 minutes before washing out the rest. 
She then added a root tap and gloss which blends the natural root into my baby light seamlessly and added a creamy blonde toner so that it's not too ashy or not too warm. So before we go into the cut we then added the Unite 7 Seconds Spray which I use every time. I've gone through so many bottles of this at home. Then we use the K18 oil which is my new favourite from the range. It works on all hair types to strengthen, repair damage, reduce frizz at two levels of the hair fibre and also improves shine. So we applied four drops to my hair and started at the front working our way through to the back. So always use this on damp hair. For the cut I had around an inch off with some subtle shaping so that the back isn't too heavy. So this hairstyle is super low maintenance and I'll only need a cut and toner in about every two months to keep it nice and fresh. And then every four to five months I can then get half a head of baby lights and I'll only require a full head twice a year. So this style is perfect for keeping the costs down. We then began by blow drying and I actually bought this brush from the salon because it's the best brush for blow drying my hair and creating that curve at the bottom. So I'll link this below too as Melissa now stocks it in her salon. It's honestly a game changer. I've been trying to create what she does for years and it is that brush. So as you can see it's now looking so fresh and bright again and I just love it so much. And then for the final touches, Melissa strained my hair and then did some final touches on the cut to make sure it was perfect. And this is the final look. Just look how neat it is at the back, honestly. She's just amazing, I'm obsessed. So I'm feeling really refreshed and bright again. I'm feeling more like me. The length is perfect, the color's perfect, and I'm all ready for summer. I've got one excited pup in the back. So it's Saturday today and I did plan on showing you a really nice summery outfit, which I might do later, but we've decided to go for a hike at, where's it at Lee? Dovestone Reservoir. Dovestone Reservoir, we've never been before. It's about a half hour drive from where we are and um, it's gonna be gorgeous. And it's 20 degrees today, so we thought make the most of the weather, go for a nice walk, take this little fluff out again, and then yeah, come back later and chill and watch Eurovision. We're big Eurovision fans. But yeah, it's lovely and gorgeous. I feel all refreshed with my hair yesterday, as you will have seen the process. The reason I've got makeup on is because I was shooting this morning as well. I don't usually wear makeup when I'm going for walks, but I've just kept it on because I've got all my SPF on. But yeah, I will take you with us. 